more than 1,200 years ago in the most advanced civilization of the time. Ibn al-Jahil wrote his seven-volume masterpiece, Kitab al-Hayawan, The Book of Life, which explained this interconnectedness of life, that all created things from matter point towards one singular reality, a common creator of all. This book, the first of its kind in the field that would later be called zoology, examined each animal and human being and grouped them into categories based upon logical and observable data. This data would then be used to examine them in their day-to-day -day pursuits and come to conclusions about them. These observations would entail things such as stool, urine, and blood samples, along with hefty notes regarding habitat, leisure time, play, dentition, and also characteristics that suited the said creature to its environment. This work would later be translated into Latin and find itself in Europe during the Renaissance period, only to be condensed by European scientists and then later used without citation to prove the theory of evolution. It is only much later that English speakers would come to know of the great achievements of this scientist and this would come after many centuries in which this knowledge would be lost to many. Indeed, some from the very city of Baghdad who spoke the same language of Arabic as this giant in science have long forgotten him. But perhaps by reviving his name, contributions to science, and his monumental work, perhaps this could be the beginning of the revival of the sciences.